Hey, what's going on guys? Jeff Kobe here and I actually slept at the office, okay? And it's a sad uh, it's a Sunday right now and I'm actually headed home right now, but I freaking slept at the office because um, I've been so damn busy just working, right? And I want to talk about this and I'm documenting some of the stuff that I'm doing. Reason being is a lot of the first half of the night when I got there, I was analyzing again the real estate market over and over again for certain pockets that I want to go after. And and, uh, looking at some of the out-of-state stuff as well for rental properties to capitalize on and also executing a plan to tap into more uh, investors money right now so it's been incredibly busy and during the week I'm on the phone most of the time and I don't have the time to do a lot of the data analyzing component so I do this type of data crunching stuff late at night all right and so I slept at the office and um, I got a lot of stuff done and there's certain ones that I want to uh, definitely get into as well as I started looking at some commercial buildings for my office to actually possibly take over payments on and or to buy as well so that's really exciting stuff uh, but I wanted to record this is because I want to talk about something that is really dear to my heart right which is currently right now what's really really popular talking about how important hustle is in your business all right now hustle is important okay I'm a firm believer it shouldn't be something that bragged about because I believe all business owners work hard and I'm a firm believer that that's just a minimum requirement that you have to have if you run a business all right now there's clearly some people who work a lot more hours some people who work a lot less more hours um, but typically the income can dictate um, what that really means and or their lifestyle will dictate what that means and here's what I mean by that right um, some people will build their business to a certain point and they get really content um, and says okay this is what I like all right so so they have a high margin business and they're making great income they're making great money and they says okay I'm cool with that Okay, that's one one side. Now, other people they have to work in their business. All right, why is it because their expenses are really really high. Meaning they're trying to keep up with Jonas's, as they say, right? Um, which is which is they have the newest stuff, the newest everything, and they just have to actually make that income to actually sustain themselves. Um, I actually started off in the financial service industry before getting into real estate. And an interesting story is this: is uh, you talk to people, you get to see a lot of people's financial financials meaning like people will show you how much money that they have where they're sitting on and what the craziest thing for me I realized at a young age was the people who walked into the office with the like the fanciest suit right the uh, fanciest car that they were driving right when you looked at their actual balance sheet at the end of the day, right, they were the individuals that had the most amount of debt and the least amount of assets, right? They made great income and they were not, you know, putting a lot of money away. Okay, and for me that was like a, a like a shocker, you know, like they're coming they're coming in and for like a let's just say a property and casualty policy, right? Like a homeowner's or insurance policy, and then I'm pitching them on a financial service product or something like that, and then you start looking at it and you're just like wow, you're nickel and diming about some insurance stuff. In reality, the, the problem isn't that. You're not gonna freaking save yourself to become a multi-billionaire, um, right? And it's just that your expenses are so damn high. Versus the folks that came in and you look at them and you see them on the streets, right? They're walking around with freaking new balances, some shorts and some like Hawaiian shirt or some weird stuff that doesn't like quite match, okay? And then, then they come in and uh, you start asking some questions, start looking at the financial and they're sitting on millions right they're sit they have assets cash all over the place and for me that was a realization at that time where I started realizing okay man you got to be investing and putting money away um, a lot of money away and that's where I had the big discovery you can be broke even if you make a lot of money Right? You can be broke even if you make a lot of money, especially if your expenses are super high. And when it comes to like just even your own personal life and when it comes to even just business, right? It's all about cash flow management. 
you freaking have a balance sheet of your own personal balance sheet, regardless if you don't even run a business, all right? I had a conversation late at night with my brother. He had this uh, particular online product that we had like when the real estate market crashed, right? <laughs> and I needed to figure out some ways to make money. And I convinced him and his friend, uh, a good friend of mine, his name is Wayne, um, I convinced him to do uh, create an online product together. And I had this, uh, you know, gigantic idea and vision to be able to uh, create millions online. And I was just like, yeah, cool, man. I'm not able to do real estate because the real, real estate market crashed, but the online stuff is going to help me out. And long behold, the projections were wrong, right? So, uh, and that's called the, the Dunnings and Kruger effect. If anyone knows um, the space of behavioral psychology, uh, Nobel Peace Prize winner, there was a study that's called the uh, Dunn's and Cougar effect, which means that people typically in the Western states, right, they will overestimate what they're capable of doing. The grind is real, ladies and gentlemen, and people don't, I don't think, uh, really talk about what it really takes and the amount of energy that it takes. And, uh, you know, our generation, I like to call it the millennial generation that are in business, they talk about hustle, right? Is hustle important? Yeah, it's important, but I think it's a prerequisite. It's just a bare bone minimum requirement that is required um, to succeed. You know, I still have like even when I went to Japan, I had uh, my gr my grandma who was what like 84, right? She still runs her business, right? Um, she's there in the real estate business, uh, like me, and uh, she's still working. The point I'm telling you is, is just like you know, you just gotta do stuff in your business that that sometimes you don't like, you know, because those are the two things, right? Um, one, I, I like hustle. Yeah, it's important to prerequisite and the other one is passion right people talk about you gotta have passion you gotta have passion. yeah passion is true but but if you want to do something big you want to do something really special you're gonna have to do some crap that you just don't want to do all right there you know you're gonna the stuff that you're not passionate about doing it's just the way it is in business you know like like you know I was doing stuff last night I just absolutely hated to do you know I hated to do it but I was sitting there and I was doing it up to a point where I'm falling asleep and I have to freaking fall asleep at the office just to and then wake up and go back at doing something I hate doing. You just gotta do it, you know? There's no there's no uh, workaround behind that, and uh, um, it's so important to understand that because, you know, the people who push that stuff like passion, do your passion, you'll never work a day in your life, and stuff like that. So again, just be cognizant about that stuff, that that kind of stuff uh, exists, and uh, just keep on going out there and do what you, you got to do in your business.